Tammy Tracy, what happened today? Ah, today was a great day at Child Center. We actually had a ribbon cutting. Um, the Alexander and Stephen Cohen Foundation made a large contribution to Child Center, and it helped us really fund this beautiful center with multiple services, sort of a one-stop shop for the community. Very excited. So they actually invested $5 million into the Child Center, and it helped us really fund things that typically the government does not fund, like research, development, innovation. Um, it lets us take risks to try new and creative approaches to solving age-long problems, and with Without people funding those kinds of things, we really we wouldn't have a chance to do that. So the government does what it can, and we're fortunate that we have those partners. But this really helps us take it to the next level. So. And so, how long did this facility take to build? Uh, probably it was brand new construction. Um, and I would say we really took advantage of COVID. So we have done all of our sites basically have this similar look, and we used uh, we took advantage of being in remote to uh, capitalize on new construction. So this took about a year. And how many other sites do you have around the city and around Queens? Oh gosh, we have about 70 programs in, no, about 100 programs in 70 locations throughout Queens, all five boroughs and parts of Long Island. So Tracy, what's the square footage of this facility? How many rooms are there and what uh, kind of facilities does it offer people? Sure, it's uh, 10,000 square feet. We have medical offices, so we have uh, doctors that can do vaccinations and wellness visits, uh, physicals. Uh, if people are sick, we have uh, a bunch of social worker offices here, we do family therapy, we do benefits access, we are the Queen's provider for the zero to five population, um, and we have our most important program here right now is an intensive outpatient program and it's called ART which is alternatives to residential treatment so it basically is where kids come after school and this was the relationship with the amazing Metz Foundation the Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Foundation uh, and the Office of Mental Health all together we were able to basically build an after-school program which is about three to four hours uh, a day after school and it helps keep kids at home in the community living with their parents so they don't have to be in inside or inpatient settings. And so um, what's the age group of kids? Can all people use the facility and how many people do use the facility? Yeah, so this particular facility, I mean across Child Center we serve about 43,000 kids uh, a year and this can be zero to seniors. So we tend to believe that you, if you're treating a child you need to really treat the entire family and that could be any kind of services. We do in-home services, in-community services, the services they get here. We do telehealth and televisiting so you can do video services if you really can't make it to the center either. So it's in the, heart, in the heart of Woodside, how important will this facility be to the people of Woodside and the surrounding areas? Well, I think it's important because I think the days of expecting people to come to where you are are over, right? We need to be where the people are and make it accessible to everybody. But we serve, it serves the community of Woodside, but it can serve anybody that wants to come here. So, and we're conveniently located right outside of the uh, train too. And tell me the impact that the relationship you have with the Cohen Foundation. Uh, is this the first time they've come on board or have you a history of um, teaming up with them? Well, we actually have a history of a relationship with the Mets, all the way from small events like turkey giveaways. They've sent players to play baseball with our kids. Um, now, all the way up to probably right before COVID, we built in one day a huge playground um, in Far Rockaway in a housing project and they, the amazing Mets are the ones that introduced us with the Coens who people know relatively new uh, brought the Mets. So this was a relationship that bridged from the Mets and Alex took a tour of our prenatal perinatal program and just became interested and we put a proposal in. And you have the top on your, your Mets supporter no doubt. <laughs> You are now anyway. <laughs> I am today and I am now for sure, yeah. Okay, thanks so there was a big turnout today. It was a great turnout today and I was really, I feel blessed that we had our elected officials here, we had the Office of Mental Health here, we had uh, representatives from the Cohen Foundation and the Amazing Mets Foundation. My staff is here and they're the whole reason we're even here. So I feel grateful that they get to see all their hard work and, and that's what gives me the ability to do what I do, is really being able to stand on their work and the impact 
impact they have on the community and, and that's why people trust us. Okay, and just finally for people who might be thinking of uh, using the facility, have you a message for them? Yeah, I'm saying mental health services, support services, work. And you heard it from our speaker today, Jonathan, who's now the valedictorian. Uh, I think I think it's getting normalized. People are understanding that there's there's nothing wrong with reaching out and saying, hey, I need a hand every once in a while. Yeah, we'll, we'll just finish on Jonathan there. He spoke very eloquently a second ago. We'll just give me a summary of uh, his experience with you. Yeah, he's fantastic. So he basically came here with a lot of anxiety. Uh, he had started therapy through telehealth when it was during the pandemic, and he was very nervous to come back out into the community. He came out, and now he's valedictorian of his class. He uh, has a scholarship, and he's going to college, and he wants to go into this field so that he can give back to what really made a difference in his life, and he was joined by his mom and his sister. So it's a family affair here at Child Center. Fantastic.